Hello, welcome to this tutorial series for a portfolio piece game asset. It will be broken into several parts and I hope you'll feel inspired to follow along. I've only filmed the first part so far, which is three videos, and we are in the run up to Christmas, so I don't have a definitive time frame for completion. But the plan is for each part to be around 10 to 20 minutes per video, so it should be fairly easy to get done. The first three videos, starting with this one, will be some quick blocking out of ideas, like 3D concepting. If you want to do your own version of this project, I recommend looking at some examples first, then spend maybe 30 to 60 minutes per design. Try to make each one unique. You don't need to model accurately here and use bevels and chamfers sparingly. More for the overall silhouette. The asset we'll be making is a turret, the type of unmanned automatic defense weapon you would expect to see guarding a base or objective. Inspiration for this came from Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts 2, but you do see them in many other types of game. After the three blockout videos, we'll look at some reference for details we want to add into our design and picking which one we want to work up into our high poly model. I plan to use the bevel shader technique, so when we get to the high poly, we won't need to worry about sub D, creases or support edges. After that, we'll make an optimized low poly, unwrap it and look at baking and texturing. Then further on, lighting, rendering and compositing, post-processing for realism, how to render out a fly around animation and general things to consider when presenting our work. As you've probably already noticed, the blockout videos will be time-lapsed and unnarrated, and I'm going to try and give them all very different styles. But note, no part of any design is final, and might be completely changed down the line. Obviously, the thumbnails for these three blockout videos are not the final project, as that is yet unfilmed. Hopefully you'll work alongside too, and get a piece for your portfolio. And the gaps in between videos should give you time to refine your work. Enjoy. <laughs> 